I'd like to talk to you today about personality disorders again, and it's time, schizoid personality disorder. These are things that are not typical for you to maybe diagnose on the outside, but it's definitely something that impacts the way you live with other people. So symptoms that are noted are very much referred to in the diagnostic manual that most psychologists use. So this is where a person has no desire to have individual relationships. This is not so different from schizotypical disorder that was referred earlier, but they have no desire to engage in close relationships. Pretty much uh, seek to live alone. Activities are typical solitary activities. They may just watch TV in a room. They may listen to music alone, play computer games. And pretty much that's, I know you're going to say that's like most typical teenagers right now, but this goes on into adulthood. This doesn't change at all. There's no area of the life that changes. So there's no interest in sexual activities that would require interactions with others because that's just not going to happen. They just don't feel it the same way. Schizoid personality is kind of lives in their own world. And that's pretty much it. They view activities as not so much pleasurable like others that like swimming, hiking, or biking, or people who are not schizoid. But the schizoid individual doesn't get that same pleasure out of those activities. So therefore, it means nothing to them. So very detached. Uh, they lack close friends on any level. Um, they prefer alone time, even within the family members. Again, they'll keep to themselves. And some families, that's great. And some families think that's a little strange, but they remain detached and isolated and don't interact unless they really, really have to. It's not their first choice. If you compliment them or if you give them a statement that they did something right, you give them a compliment, it has no impact. There's no smile. There's no thank you. There's no acknowledgement that, wow, okay, somebody likes my work, anything like that. It's just, okay, thanks. Yeah. All right. So emotionally, they do appear rather cold and detached. And it's frustrating if you're a person who has more of them and bigger and, and want to interact closely, it's not going to happen. It can be in, also in cohesion with the diagnosis of schizophrenia. Pattern of attachment is that they just don't care. They just don't, they lack that desire for intimate or close relationships. And they don't rely on others for that. They're just self-content. Okay. So they're indifferent to how others prefer uh, they prefer time alone, whereas other people are socially uh, involved and they want to interact. This individual would rather be by himself and stay self-absorbed in their own activities. So on the outside, it's very rare to see an expressive face. You know how some people are so demonstrative and everything moves when they talk. In the case of a schizoid personality, it's very rare to have an emotionally charged reactions such as anger or joy, school, unless they're young and of course having a tantrum. But that, for the most part, they're just not going to get riled up and experience that kind of surge of emotion that you or I might experience. Often, often they have painful uh, experiences as a child, but get harassed by classmates and they don't have any, not even one particular classmate that's a good friend. To them. So they remain socially inept, you know, Playing and, and interacting as a child, it teaches us how to interact as an adult. But the schizoid personality type would remain fixated in being alone. We need to rule out whether there's a neurological problem causing that. It could be trauma, could be a brain injury. Those kinds of things do impact our behaviors. But any sudden onset wouldn't typically be schizotypical. That would be uh, just had an injury and it's a reaction to the injury. Pretty much they drift. There's no real goals attached. They're underachiever, not motivated to go to college, to study. There's no pleasure in it. Maybe heightened depression from the emptiness that they feel. And that can occur with, with in accordance with schizotypical kind of behaviors. They perceive events differently where you or I might get excited to go to a fair or a carnival. They would not like it because it forces them to interact. In, in ways they don't want Pretty to. Much schizoid personality disorders count for about, they say, 4.8% of them. But that study, again, varies between studies. Uh, the National Comorbidity Survey does a study on the different variations in uh, personality disorders. But the main thing about schizoid personality, it does show up in childhood with poor social interactions with peers. Uh, again, 
could care less about going to school, underachieving. It can be genetic, but uh, it's rare that it is genetic, but it's possible. And also you want to look at the cultural background because remember, it differs between your social norms and whatever their social norms was in a different cultural background. So um, for instance, uh, even to the point where, for instance, if a person moves from a rural area where they had little interactions, now all of a sudden they move to a, a big city, a metropolis, and there's constant noise and input, they may defer and stay to themselves and stay home. And sometimes they may appear emotionally frozen, I say immobilized, but just very much not any desire to leave the house. So these things do happen. Sometimes they're pre-morbid to schizophrenia and they do overlap. Um, autistic features are very much involved being alone and not interacting with others. So we need to rule out all those other situations. And perhaps what most people don't realize, any trauma, any blunt force to the head, to the neurological system, a physiological impairment can cause persons to become inhibited and not want to leave their house as well. And including even obsessive disorders. So some people are so obsessive, they leave the house, they're guaranteed themselves, somebody's going to break in. So there's no sense of peace, there's no lack of anxiety. And they would prefer rather to time alone than to interact in that way. So I hope you understand this. If you have any questions, by all means, please leave comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up below and subscribe. Um, I appreciate it. And uh, we do leave references in the description area. So by all means, good luck. And may you always walk in life.